Hello, welcome back. So, in the last few years, you may have noticed there's been a rising trend that involves dressing in very different, unique clothing. You've probably seen some of these strangely dressed characters at one point, they seem to be popping up everywhere now. It's kinda weird, kinda cool. But today we are looking at a story of one girl who was being forced by her controlling mother to ride this trend for fame and money. They tell me I look good. They tell me I Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's basically like a private server that all your internet data goes through so that your information is kept safe and private. Without a VPN on, the internet is kinda scary. For one, your internet provider can see everything you do. Incognito mode doesn't stop them, they still see your hentai, and you're also at a huge risk for being hacked. Anytime you connect to a public Wi-Fi at a hotel or at a shop, there's a giant risk that someone can gain access to your device and get your account passwords, your bank info, it's terrifying. But with ExpressVPN, all your data is encrypted and hidden, you're safe. But the main reason I use ExpressVPN, which is kind of a life hack, um, <laughs> I use my VPN to get Canadian Netflix. If you guys didn't know, Netflix has like different shows for each country and for some reason Canada is the best. I just watched the entire Harry Potter series. Need I say more? Find out how you can get three months free of ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash primink. Links in the description. Thank you. Let's start at the beginning. Venus Angelic is a girl from Switzerland who started doing YouTube in 2010 at the age of 13 with the help of her mother, Margaret. Now she's a little different from the average YouTuber. Venus's whole online personality is that she's a living doll. Pink. You guys know how much I love pink. My entire room is pink and at least 40% of the clothes I own are pink. She looks like a doll. She talks in a very doll-like voice. That's that's her whole shtick. On her channel, she would make makeup tutorials on how to look like a doll, or she would review products that make you look like a doll. It's, it's, she was just being a doll. That's, <laughs> that's all it was. It's a bit strange. This whole look comes from, or at least is heavily inspired by a Japanese fashion trend called Lolita, I believe. It's just a Japanese look of dressing extremely cute and doll-like. Venus ended up gaining a lot of fame for this weird style because she was one of the few English speaking people doing this look at the time. She really blew up in 2012 when she made a video teaching people how to look like a doll. Hello all of you. This makeup tutorial explains you how to imitate the look of a BGD. And it ended up getting 16 million views. I didn't know there was a market for how to look like a doll, but you know, you learned something new. After this, she blew up massively. At only the age of 15, she became an internet star across the web. Eventually, Venus started appearing on TV shows and in magazines doing interviews. Everyone was just fascinated by why this girl was choosing to dress this way. I wanna add though, on the TV shows, a lot of the time, the hosts were like insanely rude to Venus for no reason. I have a daughter too, mm -hmm. and have to be honest with you, lovely as you are, Venus, mm -hmm. I would be horrified if my mm -hmm. daughter wanted to do this when she was 15. She's dressing like a doll, and they're acting like she's selling meth under that dress. <laughs> Calm down, Barbara, your fake tan's orange, you have no room to talk. Venus, at one point, even got her own doll themed segment of My Strange Addictions, which resulted in a pretty great meme. I look naturally like this. Mm -hmm. It was looking super bright for Venus. Her and her mom as her manager became this weird success story duo. But soon, this cute, innocent doll aesthetic began to crack. 
At Venus to height, she was one of the biggest personalities showing off this strange lifestyle. But she wasn't the only one. There was quite a few other people in the strange community either doing the same thing as Venus or something close to it. And slowly, one by one, some of these girls started coming out with shocking stories against Venus and her mother. Kimono Time was the first to say something. She was a 19 year old girl in the same realm as Venus and she came out with a post sharing her experiences with Venus and her mom. In the post she says one day she found Venus's channel and decided to leave a comment on one of Venus's videos asking if she wanted to check out her dancing moves on her channel. Which that's kind of self promotion and you really shouldn't be doing that but Kimono finds out later that Venus had actually blocked her from her channel because of this but she says she didn't think anything of it. Later the two were both at a Japanese event and Kimono had saw Venus and asked her to take a picture with her. To which Kimono says Venus and her mom gave her a really bad look and then just walked away while muttering something in a foreign language. The same exact thing happened again later that night when a photographer wanted a picture of the two and once again Venus and her mom just walked away while giving bad looks. After this happened Kimono ended up sharing the story online saying she was a little hurt and confused about the situation. Venus's mom Margaret ended up seeing this post and she came out with her own post that was pretty long and kind of aggressive. She called Kimono a dishonest crook and she said she needed to find a job and that she was copying Venus and she needed to leave him alone and she's like harassing them. She said something like you can still find a job even though you're missing an eye or something like <laughs> it was really weird. And then later Venus also made a post on her account saying that Kimono was copying her looks and this all became just a, a little scandal. Now that event was definitely strange but it wasn't crazy but then another girl comes out. The next girl was Shio. I've probably mispronounced every name in this video so far but I'm not going back. It's too late. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name I'm really bad at everything. In Shio's story she says that she saw Venus was being made fun of for the way she dressed online which was happening. Venus's like whole career she's had a ton of hate on her because like she's dressing weird. Everyone's calling her like a weird weeaboo and stuff. So Shio saw this and she says she decided to make a video defending Venus because she felt bad for her. The video has since been deleted and I can't find it but Venus ended up seeing the video and actually publicly thanked Shio for the support. But there's a twist. Shio's video was later striked and taken down and she finds out it was actually Venus who did it. Which was weird because Venus said she liked it and she thanked her for it but then she's removing it. Shio said she left it alone because she assumed Venus was just embarrassed by the video and they were friends at the time so she just left it alone. A while later Shio says that she and Venus had made plans to have a meetup that was in the works for months and months but Venus had cancelled last minute and then blocked Shio from her channel. After this Shio assumed this was not a coincidence and that Venus actually hated her. She ended up hearing about Kimono's story and retweeted that original post she made about Venus and her mom. And this is when everything went crazy. Suddenly, Shio was flooded with massive amounts of hate. Dozens of accounts started popping up with the sole purpose of harassing Shio. They were all brand new accounts with similar usernames and had no other posts besides tweets at Shio saying that she copied Venus and that she was a bully. One of these accounts actually leaked Shio's personal information. This made everyone speculate that these accounts were made by either Venus or her mother, which is later backed up when in one of the tweets the fake user mentions asking Venus to unblock some people and later these people were in fact unblocked. When people started to figure out this all might be being done by Venus and her mom, they both came out and tried to flip the script and say Shio was bullying them. Venus was seen messaging people saying that Shio was harassing them and threatening to kill them which never even happened and Margaret made a few posts denying all the claims and threatened to sue Shio for slander. Once again she was calling her a fame sucker that was using Venus Venus's fame for money and attention. Honestly, this was such a weird time. This was like the war of the cute little doll girls. <laughs> they all seemed to be cute and innocent on camera, but behind the scenes, they were all fighting and gossiping. It was a crazy time. Even weirder, Margaret later posted a picture of her holding a victim care card and claimed the police were gonna take down the hate group against her and her daughter, which didn't really make sense because most of the harassment was towards Shio. She's the one that got her information 
information leaked, not Venus. Now the Shio incident was a lot weirder. It began to seem like Margaret and Venus were trying to destroy their competition. Anyone that was doing the same type of thing as Venus was seen as a copycat. And Venus and her mom would either ignore or block or ghost them. And if any of the girls came out saying anything about it, Venus and her mom would act like victims and claim to be a target of some huge bullying ring made out to get them. And this just kept happening over and over again. There was another girl, Anastasia, that basically had the same thing happen. She got called a copycat and a bully even after appearing in Venus's videos and seemingly being her friend. And a bell rings. This is a very special moment. In special moments, you need to hug. <laughs> This community turned into like some strange Japanese version of Mean Girls and Venus and her mother were Regina. Oh my god, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks! <laughs> That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. These events are important to the story because it was both Venus and her mother engaging in these fights. Remember that. After all of the scandals and drama died down, Venus and her mom continued on with YouTube, but their name in the community had become a bit tainted. Venus appeared to be an innocent girl on her videos, but behind the scenes, she seemed like an evil, mean girl. <laughs> But this is not the end of the story. A couple years later, things take a very shocking turn. It feels like I'm, I'm being attacked. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. It is now 2015, and Venus is 19 years old, still doing the doll thing with her mother. And surprisingly, still being pretty successful. But eventually, some weird things begin to happen. Venus had gotten a boyfriend named Manakai. It's as big as your face. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, probably mispronouncing his name, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna stick to it. Manakai was from Japan and Venus and her mom were in South Korea at the time. Manakai started appearing in videos on Venus's channel. It seemed like a normal relationship. But a few months go by and some weird events occur. All of a sudden, Manakai stopped appearing in videos on the channel, which caused people to begin asking where he was. These questions started getting replies from Margaret and Venus talking a ton of trash about Manakai. They both started saying he was a poor factory worker, he was an alcoholic, he was a pedo, um, and that Venus broke up with him to find someone better. One of Margaret's posts was very strange and I kind of like to read it because it was it was so weird to me. Manakai was telling me he is dreaming of making love to Venus. If she doesn't love him, then I'm beautiful too. And that Venus has a cute round butt and he was looking at her butt all the time. It's on video. Obviously there's some broken English going on, but this just sounds so weird. She's complaining that her daughter's boyfriend was looking at her daughter's butt. Her daughter's 19, <laughs> like she's an adult. It's weird. It gets even more confusing though when months later Venus announces that her and Manakai were actually still dating. But they were keeping their relationship in secret to avoid the gossip from people. And now they were in fact getting married. Now this didn't really add up because why would Venus and her mom talk so much trash about Manakai if she was still in fact dating him? All they had to tell people was that they just broke up. They ended up getting married but it was over mail because like I said Manakai lived in Japan and where Manakai was from you don't have to actually be in person to get married apparently. So there was no actual ceremony. Then later Venus made a Facebook post saying the marriage actually didn't go through because one of the papers was messed up and she now didn't even want to marry him because she was just too young. It's so confusing but it will make sense I promise. I'm like a math teacher trying to convince their students they're not gonna fail. Mr. Wallace you still failed me. <laughs> People all assume that Manakai was no longer in the picture because they're not getting married, they weren't seen together anymore. But then, out of nowhere, Venus is back with Manakai on Instagram saying he came from Japan to visit her again and they seem to be dating again. But soon after, this picture was removed. It appeared to be a very dysfunctional, long distance relationship that was constantly on and off. But the truth was a lot darker. I really didn't want to make this video, but I feel like you're basically forcing me, so I'm gonna do it. 
Everything that's happened over the years starts to unravel when Venus posts another picture on her Instagram with a caption that said, I just wanted to post some pictures of Manakai, but my mom keeps deleting them. She says he brainwashes me, but I don't think so. This is when it clicks and people realize Venus isn't in control. Venus has just let all her fans know that her mother has control of her account. And this simple remark becomes the catalyst for revealing the truth about Margaret and Venus's relationship. Some investigative fans began to look into this. They started comparing Venus and Margaret's posts and they realized that Margaret was not only controlling what Venus posted, but they believed she was also posting as her. Margaret's English was a lot more broken than Venus's, so if you looked at the posts, you could kind of tell if it was Venus talking or if it was her mom. Now this made everyone question everything that's happened over the years. While the concern for Venus's well-being only grew, online, Margaret began a war. I'm not sure what triggered this, maybe it was all the comments of concerned fans saying Venus was under control, I don't know, maybe Margaret was scared she was losing control of Venus, I don't know what started it. But all of a sudden, Margaret started this huge campaign to try and end Venus and Manakai's relationship. She started spreading the narrative that Manakai was an obsessive stalker who was manipulating Venus to leave her. She made posts calling him a psychopath and claimed they had to be careful he wasn't going to stab Venus. <laughs> Um, keep in mind, Venus was still dating this man at this point. The holidays must be rough in that household. <laughs> I'm sorry. One of the most shocking things that Margaret did during all this that I found was post a picture of Venus in bed with a guy on Venus's accounts and then told everyone, including Manakai, that Venus had been cheating on him. Now at this point, everyone was just baffled at what they were seeing. This mother was publicly going after her daughter's relationship. It became clear that Venus was in a very bad environment and everyone wanted to get her help. Suddenly the comments were being filled with people all concerned about her, calling Margaret insane and controlling, but luckily Venus did get help. The next update we got was weeks later in a post from Margaret. She tells everyone that Venus had ran away and she had no clue where she was or if she was safe. And then even later, she tells everyone that Venus had actually fled the country, or was manipulated into fleeing the country with Manakai, and she was now in Japan with him. Margaret continued the narrative that Manakai basically just kidnapped Venus and coaxed her to leave with him, but slowly, Margaret's narrative begins to fall apart. Soon after Venus had left with Manakai, Margaret shockingly began to actually attack Venus, which didn't make any sense to me, because for weeks and weeks, Margaret was trying to like get Manakai away from Venus to quote unquote protect her from this evil man, but in an instant she flipped the script and now Venus is the bad person in this. She started airing out all of Venus's bad habits or like dirty secrets or maybe rumors to all of the fans. She says a lot of things, but I think I got the highlights. Um, she says, Venus has an eating disorder. Venus killed her hamster and broke her dog's leg. Venus has Asperger's. Venus tried to bite her finger off, Venus self-harmed, and Venus stole all of her stuff. In one post I saw, Margaret actually alluded to killing herself, telling everyone to ask any questions because she's going into the river. The things Margaret was saying got so extreme at one point that Drama Alert actually picked up the story. She also broke her puppy's leg and killed her hamster. I'm not laughing, I got a cold. I'm just- Good guy, Keem. <laughs> Now you may be wondering, where is Venus in all of this? Is she safe? Is she actually in Japan? Is the bomb telling the truth? We finally get to hear Venus' side in a video Venus uploaded to her channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I run away from home and the reason why. In the video, Venus finally opens up about how her mother had treated her over the years. She says that her mother would force her to do things career-wise that she didn't really want to do. But I couldn't just say no, because if I say no or that is a bad idea, then she will get really depressed and say that it would be better to kill herself and that is also the reason 
It's just... Which, if you look at Venus's channel, there's quite a few very, like, weird, suggestive things going on when she was only 13. And knowing now that Margaret was probably the one directing all this makes it feel really gross. Venus then talks about how her mother was using her fame to set up GoFundMes for money, and she also confirmed what everyone had speculated that her mom had been posting on her accounts as her. I didn't like that my mom posted on my social media in my name things which I would never say like terrible things about monarchy and Venus then tells a story about a knife when she had a knife and said she is going to cut her wrist she then took the knife and threw it towards me, but it missed and got stuck in the painting behind me. And that was Venus's reasoning for leaving the country. She said Manakai was helping her basically escape Margaret, which is probably why Margaret was trying so hard to break them up, but she got away. After Venus's video went up, everyone seemed to finally understand what was going on through the years. It all made sense. Venus was in this extremely controlling relationship with her mother. Margaret ended up seeing the video and eventually made her own video. I really didn't want to make this video, but I feel like you're basically forcing me, so I'm gonna do it. Basically, she denied all the claims and then started playing the victim in the situation. Sound familiar? After a week of being abused by them in such ways, I was exhausted and in a desperate situation. My only way was Instagram, trying to contact her and to tell her about her wrongdoings, selfishness, unthankfulness, which she replied with videos calling me an abuser and hacker. There's so many records of Margaret saying disgusting things about her daughter, but in this video she was playing the role of a perfect mother, which didn't seem right to me. But this appeared to be the end. After these final videos, Margaret and Venus seem to have cut ties. Margaret would continue to bring up Venus over the years, either talking trash or just talking about her. But other than that, their connection seemed severed. What started as a mother-daughter success story turned into something a lot darker. It has been nearly three years since this all went down. In current time, Venus is still in Japan and she appears to be a lot happier. Though, I have to be honest, she's had a few public breakdowns that have been documented over time. I'm sitting on a bunch of drama and it's all she's opened up a little bit about suffering through emotional problems, but I'd say overall, I think she's in a lot better place. She just seems to have some lows. Watching her channel now feels like you're watching an actual person with emotions and problems, and she's no longer playing a character or being a doll. I want to end with Margaret. The more I looked into Margaret, the more I saw that she was clearly one of those parents who were living vicariously through their kid. It's not hard to find pictures of Margaret wearing Venus's dresses and trying to do the doll look just like Vetus, which is actually insanely creepy. I mean she was replying to people as Vetus. I 100% believe she was living her fantasy life through her daughter, which is why she tried so very hard not to lose her, but in the end, Venus broke free. Margaret is still active online, but she seems to have moved on. The last time I found that she mentioned her daughter was almost a year ago, so maybe this is the end. The sinister twist of the story is that Venus got her fame by playing a doll, when in reality, behind the scenes she was an actual doll to her mother I'm saying goodbye Do you get